Hello there, iPad Jailbreakers. Uh, this is Dan from iPadJailbreak.com. Um, I had a couple of comments and tweets about the, the fonts that I had installed on my iPad. I was just going to give you a run-through of the Bida font, which is a city of tweak that allows you to install any any font you pretty much can find. Uh, it's, it's hosted by iPhoneRuler.net, and uh, these fonts are all free, and Bida font itself is free. Um, it's just supported by advertisements, as you can see here. Um, currently, the... the uh, font that I have installed right now is Black Chancery and it's it's kind of a script font but I've kind of grown grown used to it and kind of like it. Um, jump out here into uh, Bida font. It's got a when you install Bida font it'll have an icon and you can see that I have well, four different three different fonts that I have available and I can just by selecting it I can then basically respring my device and have a new font installed. Um, the settings that you have available in your advanced settings is you could set a different font for the keyboard, your lock, your, your lock screen clock, your notes, um, so you can have a little bit more customized uh, fonts. But otherwise, I usually just have the same font throughout my entire device. Um, you, you, down here, you can see browse fonts. A little, it'll just take you to the iPhone ruler, and you can head out there and you can look at your most recent fonts, um, your most downloaded, the best ones, or you just you can just go through all the fonts on the app itself. Um, if I jump home here, you can just see there's a contact. You can follow them on Twitter, some facts about it, and quick help. Um, I usually just jump right into Cydia and uh, go, into, go into the sections. And you can, you can see there's one here called Fonts. And it's got them all the way from A to Z. Um, probably a thousand of them, I would bet. I, I don't know, there's probably 50 of them just on, under the letter A here. And I'll go ahead and run through how, how to install a font. Um, I'll go ahead and pick this Adolphus font. And you just Hit install here. It's gonna actually confirm they're all about two point. They're about they're all about three megabytes on average. And I just have my Adolphus font. You can see I just installed. Now I can um, continue and respring my device and get this new font installed. And you can see already on the lock screen here. The, the new font, um, the fonts throughout all the icons. Um, I jump into the Twitter here. You can you can kind of see how the how the font looks here. It's it's legible. Um, there are some fonts that you'll get that are, are graffiti or, or other kinds of fonts. It's just almost impossible to read. Um, really hard on your eyes, but um, it's probably not quite as good as Apple Signature font. Uh, Noteworthy, I think, the name of the font that they have uh, installed stock on your iPad. Um, you can go back into your uh, Bida font, and if, if you don't like your font, you can go restore it original, or you can select a different font, or you can go out there and try to find something else you like. Um, other than that, that, that's pretty much all there is to uh, Bida font and uh, the, the iPhone ruler.net information. Um, if you have any other questions, just drop a comment here on the uh, YouTube video or uh, tweet us at iPad Jailbroken.